Lately, circular bioeconomy has become a popular term in the media, policy documents and scientific publications. We are told that humans should finally learn how to produce energy and food in harmony with nature. But if we take a step back and look at the historical evolution of human societies, the concept of circular bioeconomy isn't as new and innovative as it may sound. For thousands of years, humans lived on this planet without using fossil energy. It all shifted rapidly with the Industrial Revolution, which brought huge changes in a very short period of time. Global population, which had been more or less stable below the 1 billion mark, skyrocketed to 7 billion and is still growing. The average consumption per capita has also increased, leading to higher and higher needs of energy and food. Since we live on a finite planet, the combination of increased population and consumption has made it incredibly hard to move back to a circular bioeconomy, as there are less and less natural resources per capita. At the same time, expectations about improvements in the quality of life are increasing all over the world at a faster and faster pace, and particularly in the global south. So, what next? We can't go back to how things were before the Industrial Revolution. Our daily life has changed too much. Expectations have become higher, and there are far more people on the planet. We also can't continue looking for endless economic growth, leading to ecosystem destruction and to the collapse of the social fabric. Maybe it's time to think about things differently. Are wealthy societies in the global north willing to accept a reduction in their material standard of life in the name of sustainability? If so, where to start?